Okay, this is a professional practice office video and the purpose of this video is to explain how we can check um, that the feedback uploaded by the supervisors doesn't contain any information about or contains information about students at risk and we want to be able to see see that information. So first of all I'm going to, just going to show you the form I'm talking about. So in forms we have professional experience supervisor feedback for school based experience. Okay, and if I just have a preview of that form um, as a whole, you'll be able to see that there's just um, the feedback on the standards, and there's a question at the bottom which says, at this point, is the pre-service teacher at risk of failing the professional experience? So as the weeks go by, supervisors will be submitting these forms all the time. There should be um, lots of forms submitted every day. And what we want is an easy way of just exporting um, anyone where the, the yes has been ticked. And obviously we can pick up the name of the student and the, the course so we know if they're primary, secondary or early childhood. Okay, so the way in which we do that is as shown. So we'll go back to forms um, and I'm going to pick, uh, where is it, professional experience. Um, hang on a minute, my eyes are going to be funny. Okay, so I'm looking for the um, school based one. Okay, so what I need to do is go to respondents. Okay, and then what I might want to do is put a filter on there. So for the moment, I'm just going to put 2018 on there, and then I can pull up all the um, feedback from 2018. Okay, um, what I might want to do is if I'm doing this weekly, what I can actually do is I can actually put a um, a date range in. So what I can do is look at everything that's been updated up until today. And then in a week's time, I can um, look again and see, um, you know, for the following weeks, I'm not pulling everything up. So for the moment, let's say, for instance, I want to look at all of them. Obviously, if I wanted to just look at one or two, that's completely fine. But to look at them all, um, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go export. Okay, and the only information that I'm actually interested in is the name of the teacher, the pre-service teacher, the degree, and are they at risk of failing the professional experience. Export. Um, I can just call that anything I like uh, for the moment. Okay, and it's going to pull out an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, now at the moment, because we haven't actually got any students out for 2018, so there won't be any at-risk data, um, there's not going to be anything on this form at the moment. But the point is, is that this is the fields we're going to get. We're going to get name of pre-service teacher. We're going to get the the course, primary, secondary, phys ed, early childhood, and are they at risk? We'll be able to sort by this field, which will be yes or no. And I have it is a newly created field, and it is one that is mandatory. So they have to, uh, the supervisors have to actually tick yes or no. We can just sort uh, and if there are any that are yes they are at risk of failing the prac then we can look at the student and notify the degree coordinator um, and also um, contact the supervisor to get them to follow up on that so this would this export would need to be done weekly okay thanks for listening